your regularly scheduled EG video to give you two very exciting announcements. Numero one. We are hoping to win a streamy. <laughs> I just want to win it. I know. I don't even want to just, I just want to win it all. I want to take home all, all of the streamies. streamies. And then we'll have a streamy collection. So we actually were nominated last year because you guys are awesome. So we were wondering if maybe you guys could, you know, help us out again this year. So we're gonna have a link down below where you can go click it and nominate us and the submissions end tonight at 12 Pacific. Yes, 11.59. Oh, Pacific. technicalities. So we would really love your guys' support because I just, we couldn't do it without you guys, obviously, because it's fan submission. It's fan nomination, so. Yeah. Mm. So we'll have a link down below where you can do that. Numero dos. I almost said deuce. B. Deuces. So we are going to be in New York City. New York. And we're having a meetup. Yes, at the Birchbox store. We're going to be there July 11th. It's on a Saturday, 11 a.m. July 11th at 11th with 11th Gorgeous. Yeah. All of the 11th. Why did I just take it to that level? Yeah. Yeah. And we're really excited to meet you guys. We've never been to their store, so we're also excited about that. And you guys can like build your own birch box while you're there. Like if you spend money in the store, I think it's like fifty dollars. You get a free one, so that's I mean that's cool. Yeah. You don't have to like spend money to meet us. So no, we'll have the information on that down below in case you're a visual person. Yeah, because um. we'll have like the address, the specific address. But it's in New York, and I'm so excited because because I just I love yeah, meeting you guys. No, you guys are fun. Yeah, I love meeting you guys. Yay! And other news: Happy Friday and Happy Fourth of July and Happy Late Canada Day. Yeah, that too. Do, 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 do. Back this ends the interruption, and now we return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Hey guys! Hi guys! We have a gigantic drugstore haul. You're excited about it and not embarrassed. I'm excited about it because we finally found some of the products we've been looking for that I've been seeing other people talk about, and I'm like, I want those Let products. Let me just tell you, Walmart was it. That's yes. where we found so much stuff. Yes. 100%. Yes. I feel like we have a lot of stuff for Maybelline. Maybelline's come out with a lot of new stuff, so a lot of our stuff is for Maybelline. Yeah, so we're just gonna get it. She dove. Oh my gosh, that's not it. Oh my gosh, but wait, there's more. This is the first time that I've like heard or seen somebody talking about something and found it like immediately within a couple of days. There you go. So I was pretty excited about that, but we got the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 with Acetyl, Acetyl C, oil free. This has, that's antioxidants. It says that this is their first foundation for all day color wear with that Acetyl C known for its antioxidant benefits. And it says improves skin's look in three weeks, reduces the appearance of spots, bumps, dullness, and redness. Huh. That's exciting. Yeah. And I feel like a very large claim. Huh, it says limit time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear long sleeve shirts, pants, hats, and sunglasses. Oh God. I grew up from head to toe. <laughs> Can you imagine being at the beach and all of that? So yeah, skin transforming foundation. We'll see how that goes. I feel like my face is gonna be a transformer. Uh, more than meets the eye. This is the concealer that goes with it. Originally, Stephanie only found the light medium, then she found the ivory, so we were like, yay. Yeah, it has the same claims. It says targets dark circles, spots, imperfections. And it's got the same acetyl C. Yeah, actyl C, acetyl C, I don't know. No, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. So. Whoa. What did we do? I kind of would have been okay not getting these, but I'm excited to show you guys about them. Yeah, we more or less wanted to get these to show you guys and to try them for you guys, but these are the new Baby Lips Lip Gloss. And yeah. It's moisturizing. And I've read that they're supposed to be like cream, jelly, and shimmer formulas. So, you know, some of them have sparklies, some of them are like clear jellies, and some of them are more like a cream yeah. formula. So These are, I've got some creams over here, but they're still kind of, they're not very colorful. I think it's more just for like, you know how baby lips are. They're for the moisturization and all that stuff, so. Yeah, plus the, uh, the packaging is super cute. So, you know, there's that. We got the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Creamy Matte Pencils, and we got five of them because these jokers were hard to find. I'm actually wearing the one in Cherry Cherry Bang Bang on my lips. I love lips. that name. I know, I do too. And I love the color and I love the way it feels. It feels amazing. 
we've already tried them. I'm wearing the I'm Blushing one, and I love this color too, which normally I feel like I would see this and think it would be too blue tone pink, but it's darker. Like it. yeah, yeah, it's a darker color, so it doesn't wash you out. Yeah, I like I love it. it. And like we said, there's more colors. We could only find five, but I also am holding a darker one that's called Plum Please. And then I have two more. There's like a really dark red called Partner in Crimson. And then this orange one called Orange You Glad. Yeah, let us know if you want us to do a whole nother video on these. Maybe we'll find some more of them and we could do like a lip swatch party or something. I don't know. Let us know. So there are some more matte lippies from Maybelline. We loved the other ones, you know, that came in this packaging before. And when we found out there were more colors, we were like, we have to get them all. Whoops. We got them all. So we could do a swatch video for you guys because I just, we've been loving watching them. We've done one recently. We've done two recently, actually, and we want to do more. I just want to take these and like, like make it rain. All right, so this one is all fired up, and it's like a pretty bright coral color. This one is called Clay Crush, and I'm excited for it because it looks like a Kylie-esque color. And I know some of you guys can't stand it when we say that, but I'm sorry. I think people know. I think people know what kind of color that is. So I, I was watching another lip swatch video the other day, and this girl's like, and it's a Kylie kind of color. There you it's, go. It's an easy reference because yeah. you know what it is. I'm holding Blushing Pout, and this one also makes me think of a Kylie color, but that one was more of her brown color, and this right. one's more of her like nude. Mauvey. Nude. Mauvey color, yeah. This one is Nude Nuance, and it's kind of like the one I just showed you, but darker, and I'm really excited for this one. I'm excited for all of them. These are all really good colors. The pinks are a little bit crazy, but we wanted to try them. So this one's Pink Sugar. This is probably... Least favorite. No, 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 no. This is no, one no. of my favorites. That's one of the pinks yeah. I like the most. That's not kind it. of a coral-based pink. Pink like, Chic is the one I'm not that excited That one's very blue-toned. Yeah. This one, Vibrant Violet, is cray. Um, purple. It kind of reminds me maybe of one of the, the Milani ones. I can't remember, yeah. but super cray. Okay, this one is the one that is our least favorite so far. We'll see when we get it on our lips, but it's the Pink and Chic. And, pink and Chic? It's Pink and Chic. Mm. Pink and chic. It's kind of like a, what would you say? Lilac. Lilac orchidy yeah. kind of color. Lilac so I don't know. Orchid. It might be better on the lips than what we're thinking. The lip swatch I saw on the internet looked terrible. Yeah. Okay, and then this one is actually, it, it got pushed up oh, into, it pushed into yeah, to the top of the cap, but that's okay. We can just like round it off. I'm so excited for this. I've been loving dark colors, and I know that doesn't make sense for summer, but... You like what you like. I do. And then I have electric pink. It's and electric. It's another crazy pink color. This one's more of like blue tone, not orchidy. That is just blue tone pink. Crazy. And then we have Rich Ruby, and it's, you know, dark red. I like to say brownie red, maybe? No, it's a brick red. Yeah, but not too bad. It's gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, let us know. I mean, we're probably gonna do it anyways, but if you want to see more on these, we'll do it. Another reason why we were just like, whatever, is because they were $5.50 each, which, which is a lot better than, I think drugstores, they can be up like seven, seven or eight bucks. Yeah, yeah. So. $5, five fifty at Walmart was like, yes, please. Yes. We got some things from the L'Oreal True Match Lumi line. There were some powders and then there were some like liquid highlight stuff. But this is the Powder Glow Illuminator in Rose. And I think this one comes in the other two options too. But Rose is so pretty. I love rose gold. So it's a highlight. And then there are the liquidy ones. And this just says prime and highlight. So I guess you could wear it as a base, which would give you like a glowy effect or whatever. And it comes in ice. Glossé. Ice Glossé, which I think this is a cool tone because it has a C here. And then Rose, which has an N, so I guess that's neutral. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm... Yeah, this says neutral undertone on the back and this says cool undertone on the back. Yeah. So I guess the other one would have been warm. Yeah, it was gold and it was a little bit like... Should have gone for that since I'm warm tone. Yeah, it just... It looked a little bit harsh though. Too... It looked... The swatches looked too dark. Yeah. So these are from L'Oreal. It's like the celebrities have their own shades line. It's like a whole collection of reds. So I have Julianne's red. Oh, so orangey red. Pretty. Side note, we actually bought these and couldn't find them for our last drugstore haul. So that's why they're a little bit like after it's come out. I have Frida's red, which is kind of a classic blue tone red, I would say. It was just more orangey, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Corley red. This is like blue tony red. It's pretty, they're all really pretty. I think I just love red lips, period. I know. And then this is Leah or Lia, Leah, Leah. I don't know. And this is. That one's blue tone too. Yeah. I think mine's more pinky red. Yeah, yeah. yours has this a is pink like tone. pinky red. This is more classic. Doesn't really go pink, doesn't really go orange, but I mean, it has the ever so slightest blue. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just super classic red. It's gorgeous. What I consider classic. We stumbled across a new Rimmel mascara called Lift Me Up. It says that it's got vitamins and cucumber in it. Mm. Never noticed that. So it's Eye Awakening Volume and Lift. I don't know. 
know. I just, they always have new mascaras and like cute packaging, so I'm always drawn to it. Gotta try, try it. it. So we'll see how that one goes. Okay, now this is a really interesting topic, okay, because we actually talked about these I did a poll on our app and I was like, do you guys prefer the metallic flash tattoos or the watercolor flash yeah. tattoos? Overwhelmingly, you guys voted for metallic. But I think these are so cool. I think they're gorgeous. So these are the watercolor tattoos and they just have what looks like somebody had, you know, drawn a watercolor picture and you put it on your body and it's gorgeous. We found them at Walgreens and they were five bucks. Like, I love that. I know. It actually makes me want a tattoo. I know, but I'll never. I think this pack is my favorite. And I don't like butterflies, but I actually kind of love the butterflies on here. Yeah. But they kind of look like ink blot abstract a little yeah. bit. Oh, wait, what does this look like? It looks like a butterfly. You're crazy. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I love the hummingbird. So cute. So yeah. cute. Five dollars each, you guys. I couldn't believe it. No, because the flash tattoos sometimes can be like 15 bucks. Yeah, really expensive. Easy. So. All right, guys, that is all for our drugstore haul. Be sure to let us down, let us down below. Let us down below know what you, you have found at the drugstore lately. Have you found any of the new products that maybe we couldn't find? What haven't we found? We haven't found the Milani statement list. Oh yeah, we haven't found those. Our drugstores are terrible about getting Milani though. I just, we don't have good access to Milani. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's other stuff that we haven't found that's probably coming out right now as we speak. Oh my gosh, we have to go to the drugstore right now. Right now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy our drugstore hauls. It helps us out a lot. Yes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. And check out these videos over here so that you can keep caught up with those too. We'll also have our recent videos linked down in the description if you are on mobile or tablet or something like that. Speaking of mobile, we have an app. In case you didn't know, it's on Apple and Android. It'll be down there also. It sure will. So we're going to talk to you guys in another video so, so very soon. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye.